Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again, and tonight I'm taking a look at the upgraded version of Space FM that's now available in Annex. The uh, most current version available in Annex at the moment, I believe, is 9.2. Yeah, 0.9.2. And you can click this link and go to their uh, homepage to get all the changes and details. I'm going to show you some highlights. Now, my desktop may look a little different to you. Uh, I'm actually using the Antix Fluxbox desktop option. And I'm actually using the Space Dash Fluxbox item. You can see that up here in the desktop line of my Conky setup. It says, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm allowing Space FM to run my desktop. And if you're coming from the Windows world, having Space FM run your desktop's pretty awful close to having icons on your desktop in a Windows environment. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go into my Documents folder, and I'm going to uh, copy my Debian Libre antics document thing um, into into my uh, desktop folder. Seems natural enough. I'm going to select it and I'm going to drag it onto the desktop. And there it is. And it's moved out of this folder. The desktop is an actual folder just like it is in a lot of other de distributions. And here it is de in desktop. I go in here and there it is. Now I'm going to leave that on there on the desktop for a while because I want to show you a couple other things. Uh, one is it's now very easy to add applications to the desktop menu, to the desktop. If you already have an item on the desktop, uh, it's pretty easy. Just do a right click on the item and come down to uh, New and Desktop Application. And what it's going to give you is it's going to present us with a list of all the installed applications that it can find. Sometimes it's got a little issue with over and under sometimes. Um, it's going to give you a list of all the different applications that it can find installed on the computer and allow you to set set one on the um, desktop. So I'm going to click Oracle and there I go. Now i got a link to my virtual box. It can handle managing wallpapers. Now, as you may remember from a past video on Space FM, Space FM is a multi-tabbed file manager, and it will remember the panes configurations as you had them. You can have up to four. I'm going to maximize this window so you can see what's going on. Okay, that's pretty busy. Good if you're monitoring multiple folders, though. I find the two-pane version very useful. But when I'm using the two-pane version, I normally don't want the shortcut items. So I'm going to close those. Now you're about to see something very interesting. You remember my original default window had those, had the side uh, shortcuts, but now my two-pane window does not. I'm going to click off the two, whoops, if I can drag the window, there we go. If I can drag, click this off, you can see the bookmarks came back. If I click it back, it remembers that I like a two-pane version without the without the bookmarks. It's going to remember by window, by panel configuration, how you how you had your windows configured the last time you used them that way. This is a brilliant feature to me because I was constantly having to change the windows around to get rid of the bookmarks and everything, and now I don't have to. You just can't believe the little touches like that in Space FM. They've redesigned. I'm gonna minimize this back down because it makes it somewhat better look a video. Uh, one of the things they've done is they've enhanced the design menu. And what that is, if you if you uh, if you've ever you can add commands to basically anything. Now, one of the things I like to do is add a command to the right click menu. And there, I got a right click. And now, if I hit right click again then I get a menu for cutting and pasting and these are actually for cutting and pasting commands but I can actually make a new command or a bookmark or a new application launcher almost anything you can think of to add to a menu you can do it with space F F with space FM uh, where can you find information on this the design mode is great because it you can you can you can do just about anything you want with it. Um, I've got some posts over at the Annex boards uh, about adding trash cans and things like that uh, to the menu items. 
Again, all the customization options you've come to know and love in Space FM are here. Um, one of the features I like is if you need to change permissions on something, you can right click on an object, come down to root, and you get a list of all the different per permissions that are available. And if you select one, it'll ask for your root password to change it, of course. But also, you come down here to owner, and you can change it to a variety of different owner configurations. This is really handy with scripts you might have downloaded from the internet that need to be changed to work on your system. Um, it's just an amazingly powerful tool, and I've actually come to use it quite a bit. Um, uh, again, Antics comes with UDevil installed as well. It's kind of a side little utility. I actually, um, which you can configure in udevil.com, and that's available. If you right click over here, it's a kind of a weird way to get to it. If you right click over here in the bookmarks area, you get a root menu, and then edit udevil.com. It's a root password. And then I made a couple changes to mine. I've added SIFs to the allowed file types so that I can mount network shares directly with Space FM. Actually, that's the only change I've made to uh, to Space FM's uh, .com file. It's really the only change I've needed to make uh, to it. Whoops, focus screen got in the way. So what that'll let me do is I can access in the address bar my media share, for instance directly and there it is it's all good to go now if you've seen my videos on connect shares it also works just fine with connect shares in fact is connect shares is actually my preferred method and normally when I, I if I haven't hadn't just reinstalled everything uh, you can put a new command and I usually put connect shares in the menu so that I can access it from the tools menu or from or from my regular file menu as I want. Now it's going to go out and it's going to mount connect shares. Now we got some uh, changes happening in the connect shares so <clears throat> I get some weird uh, uh, optimization windows at the moment. And there I am. I'm all connected. Some other things, and you wouldn't think this would be that big a deal, with the desktop management, you can now move the icons where you want them on the desktop. This was not possible in earlier versions of Space FM, and now it is. If you want to find out all the latest news on Space FM, head over to Ignorant Guru's Space FM news page. Um, the links to the homepage and everything are in the about bar in the help bar um, here, home page, Space FM News, and Get Plugins. They're all here. I'll have the links in the show notes too. But uh, this gives you releases. You see he's already released a point, a point three version uh, with some bug fixes. That's not in Andix yet, but I'm sure it'll be coming along soon. We have a new uh, user manual. Uh, the old user manual was very difficult to read. Well, depends on how technically minded you are. But this is going to walk you through everything from basic Space FM file managing concepts, which is, if I mean, if all you used it for this, it's just like any other file manager out there, except it's infinitely configurable. And that's what this user manual is going to help you with, is configuring different things, making your own dialogues, doing all kinds of things. Now, one of the other nice features of Space FM is, and I'm going to disconnect here so I can show off something else. The that was disconnect shares by the way disconnecting my shares. One of the other nice things is the plugin system, and you can go to the plugin page and see all kinds of neat plugins. But my favorite plugin is Keith's Mount SMB FTP SHFS, and now WebDAV uh, Linker. Uh, this is great for browsing your uh, Windows networks, your Samba networks. Um, it, it's really nice. The requirements are here. Um, this link, uh, this hosting site for free.com is flaky. I've been using this alternate download uh, link, but I'm going to show you something pretty cool. We can copy the link address in our web browser, go into Space FM, go to plugins, 
hit install and hit URL paste in the URL again root password because we're making changes to a system it's going to download and install and there it is it's installed now, how easy is that we click on mount share and it's going to scan our network and there it is it's found my media computer that's the IP address I've got all my mount points here I don't need a username or password for that particular share I'm going to hit mount and there we go we've got it and if Space FM is managing your desktop then when you exit the file browser those um, links are still going to be available to any computer that can use them I mean to any application that can browse your file system uh, in the media folder uh, slash media folder as a as a uh, just a chunk of your file system if you don't want Space FM running the desktop it's also got a um, Dame mode that'll run in the background without running your desktop if you're a no icons kind of guy. It'll also handle mounting of uh, all your all your different uh, media as well. So that's Space FM. I highly recommend you take it, check it out, take it for a spin. It's amazingly powerful file manager. It, I rely on it every day. It's my favorite. Um, check out the mount share plugin it's handy if you uh, are uh, needing a GUI to browse network shares for tips tricks how to's head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org this is Dolphin Oracle signing off have a great night